Hi there everyone, it's Coach Alexa here. I just wanted to talk a little bit about hydration today. Um, really, really important for a number of different reasons in the body. Water is key for pretty much all the different processes that your body kind of goes through from um, making sure that your brain is uh, working efficiently to enabling uh, your, your digestive processes to work, uh, to enable your immune system to send um, bacteria fighting cells around your body, um, to enable your heart and lungs to, to work efficiently. So really is pretty, uh, pretty key. Um, it's also really uh, useful for uh, sport. So even just a, a dehydration level of one or two percent can have kind of an exponential style impact on your performance. So you know it, it, the, the the impact of a one or two percent dehydration kind of folds on to around five to ten percent decrease in performance because your body just isn't able to transport all the oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients, byproducts all around your body as it needs to because it doesn't have enough liquid to do that with. So a couple of different ways that you can kind of measure your um, hydration levels and, and work out whether you need um, a little bit more uh, water. Uh, first one is the colour of your wee. Um, it should be a light straw colour, so uh, a, a little yellow, but definitely not kind of too um, dark. If you're getting to the point where it's um, becoming a little bit more maybe slightly orangey in colour, um, then you definitely need to be uh, drinking a little bit more water. It's, um, I usually find it really, really helpful because obviously when you get up first thing in the morning, you've not drunk for however many hours that you've been asleep for. So that's quite a key part of the day to really focus in on the, the hydration a little bit. The other side of things when you've been um, training, um, not so much when this weather's um, a little bit colder, but definitely for longer runs and uh, as the weather starts to get a little bit warmer, is just watching how much you lose both in sweat and through breathing as you run. Um, your lungs are a moist environment. They have to be moist in order for them to take in oxygen and um, expel carbon dioxide. Um, if they, they dry out, you can't breathe. Um, so by that process of, of um, humidifying the air as you breathe it in, you then actually lose quite a lot of moisture um, as you breathe out. So obviously when you're breathing quite heavily as you run, um, actually made worse in the colder weather because cold weather tends to be drier. Um, so your lungs are adding more moisture to it to enable them to work effectively. You do actually end up losing quite a lot of, of water just through breathing. Um, your sweat as well, so that's a little bit more visible way to, to see that you're, you're losing water. Um, through sweat and evaporation off your skin. One way to get a bit of a rough sort of uh, finger in the air guess of how much water you're using when you're run, running is to um, weigh yourself before and after a run. You get a bit more of an idea if it's a longer run, quite short runs, you don't lose a lot of water, it's actually quite difficult to kind of see if there's any difference. On a long run, for example, um, wearing exactly the same kit to making sure that you've not taken off layers on or added or taken away shoes or whatever, so weigh yourself before you go out for a run and when you get back. The slight um, uh, difficulty around this is the rules are you can't drink anything in between because obviously that skews the results a little bit and don't go to the loo either. So you're trying to um, uh, avoid all potential other changes in your, in your weight other than just the water you've lost through breathing and sweating. Um, every um, uh, kilo that you lose in weight, and I'm hoping you don't lose kilos, um, is a litre of water that you've lost. Um, so, for example, if you lose 250 grams throughout your long run in weight, um, then that would be 250 millilitres of water that you've lost. Um, the general rule of thumb is rehydrate with what you've lost and at least half again, because that helps um, the recovery processes and, and, and your body to kind of recover more quickly from the running that you've done. So if you get back and find yourself sort of 500 grams lighter than when you went out, then take on 750 millilitres of water to rehydrate. Do you need fairly accurate scales, but it definitely gives you a good idea, particularly as I say on those longer runs where you tend to lose more as to how much you're losing. Um, if in any doubt though, go with the colour of the wee, and particularly if you've not been to the to the toilet for a wee in about sort of three or four hours, then you should probably think about having a glass of water because things need to need a little bit more water to keep keep going. Hope that makes sense. As always, um, any questions, uh, just let me know. Cheers now. Bye.